In this video, I'm going to show you how to print the content of an array or a list using recursion. So here we have the function print list, and we're going to recursively print out each element inside the list. So as you can see, this will print out A, B, and C. The first step to writing any recursion is to draw the recursion tree. And let me show you how to do it. So here we have our function print list, and we're going to print out A, B, and C. So if we have this list here, we're going to print out the first one, which is A. And then we call this function again. So we have print list. And we deleted the A. So here we have B and C. And then this function will print out B. So it will print out the first element of the list, which is B. And then we call it again. We move on to the next one, which is C. So we only have C in here. And then we print out C. And then we call it again. And this time, after we remove the first one, this list is empty. And this is a sign telling us that we need to stop the recursion. So this recursion is stopped. And as you can see, it prints out A, B, and C, which is all the content inside our original list. Let's go over the code for our recursive print list function. So we define the print list, which takes in a list. And if this list is empty, then we stop the recursion. Else, we print whatever the first element of the list is. So print L at zero. And then we recurse again, moving on to the next element. So print list, L at one, and the rest of the list. Let's go ahead and test it. So as you can see, it's printing out A, B, C, D, along with 1, 2, 3, so that is correct. Now, if you want to print all of these on the same line, all you have to do is put the end, which is just an empty space. So let's run it again. And as you can see, it prints them all on one line. Pretty nice, eh? Now, let's try to print the 2D list using recursion. The algorithm actually stays the same. So we're going to define this print 2D list, which takes in a 2D list. So if this 2D list is empty, then we stop the recursion. Else, we're going to print each element of the list. And each element is actually a list itself. So all we have to do is use the print list function that we just wrote. So we're going to print out the first element of the 2D list, which is a list itself. And then after we print it, we should skip down a line. And then we recurse again. Let's go ahead and test it. So print 2D list. And we put in the list L, which we define up here already. And let's go ahead and run the program. So as you can see, it prints out this 2D list, which matches the list that we already defined up here. So this means that our code is correct. And that is basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe if you want to buy me a coffee for free. In the next video, I will show you how to find the length of an array or a list using recursion.